Hello, welcome to Heather Broadbent's online violin studio. Uh, this video we're talking about the bow for little ones before they actually get a violin bow to work with. You, you do have some options um, for uh, the very young ones not to have them um, get an actual violin bow in their hands and not treat it well. So you have um, some different possibilities. Um, this bow I just got again with the instrument, the Christmas ornament. Um, it's just a great practice bow and they can hold it. Um, you just want them to get used to holding it. You don't want to, you know, the first thing to have them, okay, your thumb goes here, your pinky goes there. Um, just to have them know which direction that um, it goes and where you want to hold it. So you don't want to hold the tip, you know, try to just encourage them to hold down here at the frog. Um, so this is a good starter bow. Um, then once they get used to that, and then you see that they're kind of actually playing around with holding the bow in the right hand and maybe that play violin in the left hand, um, then you can have them just uh, do two things at once, hold the violin here and then just hold the, the bow with the right hand here. And you can be the judge slowly, you know, encourage, you know, with the bow hold depending on the age of the, the child. Um, uh, to maybe encourage the uh, one step at a time what to actually hold with uh, hold the bow with and where. Uh, you can take a marker and maybe draw little dots, play connect the dots, a uh, sticker, um, you can put stickers here and have them connect the dots with the different fingers and make a game out of it. Um, this is another little practice bow I have. This one I actually have some stickers here that they can practice um, just kind of playing within the stickers. Uh, you can encourage that. Um, the other thing you can do is uh, they have the little corn removers, the little pads that you can put on your feet, on your toes. Um, you can use the actual fuzzy part of that, not the medicated part. You don't want to use that, but the fuzzy part you can put here for the pinky so it kind of has something fun to sit on, something fuzzy to encourage the, the bow hold. And then down here, I have one down here to help with the thumb, you know, so they know where to put the thumb. So you could do that with, um, with um, this, the ornament bow, practice ornament bow if you find one of these at a store. Um, or just take, a, like, um, you could just take a, like a very thick dowel rod and a piece of wood, like a rectangular piece of wood, and just attach it yourself and make your own play, play bow um, that they can use. So uh, just some ideas to help encourage them to get used to a bow without using an actual real bow. And then when they treat it with respect and you think they're ready, then um, have the real bow and the real violin as the next step. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully you found this video to be helpful.